in this video I'm going to show you how we can bring a point file in at center to center but have Revit read the coordinate system accurately so what it actually would be in the real world so um, I've started with just an out-of-the-box template I haven't done anything to it other than stretch the elevation you know the level lines out in the um, south elevation I'm in my default 3D view so I'm going to bring in that point cloud and I'm going to let it default to center to center. I'm going to zoom to fit so I can see the whole thing. Now the first thing you guys want to do when you bring in a point file, regardless of whether you're going to do the coordinates portion or not, you're going to want to verify that the scale is right. And they tend to come in too big. So I'm going to set the scale to 1 and you'll notice that it changes the size of my point file. So you want to do this first, and you want to do this before you start modeling. It's going to be a lot harder to fix after the fact. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my south elevation, and I'm going to physically move this up from the main floor line where I'm you know, anticipating it's going to be up to level 1. So I'm going to you know, just use my move command, and I'm going to pick you know where I think the floor line is at and move it up vertically okay I'm also going to take a look at this in my site plan view and I pick the site plan view because it's easiest to see things from because the cut plane by default is so high so now I'm gonna add a reference plane and you're gonna add it at the location you know where you want the origin to be so I'm going to just draw this line. I'm going to go ahead and go back to level 1. And we'll zoom to fit again if needed. Okay, so my reference plane is here. And you'll notice that I can see different portions of, you know, my, my point file. And that's based on where I'm cutting through at this point. Now, if I do my coordinates right now, they're going to be 4 feet off because my cut plane is at 4 feet. So you can either modify the cut plane for a minute, or we can just create another view. So I'm going to create another view, and modify the cut plane in this one. And I'm going to change it to zero. Now I want to, you know, specify the coordinates at the end of this point. So on the Manage tab, under Coordinates, I'm going to specify coordinates at a point. I'm going to pick that endpoint, and then I'm just going to modify this information. So I'm just making up numbers. You guys will have gotten this value from, like I said, either your Civil 3D engineer or you know from inserting this file originally, origin to origin, and finding out what that information was. So we'll say 500, 752, and I want the elevation at 635. So now. If I go look at this, let's go to our elevation here, and we'll zoom to fit again. You'll notice that my levels haven't changed, and they haven't changed because I haven't told them that I want them to read the shared coordinates. They're still reading our project internal coordinates. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to create a new type. And if you're only going to have the shared coordinates in here, you don't have to do this step, but I'm going to assume that I might have both in some cases, so I'm going to duplicate this and we'll call it shared. And then I'm just going to tell it to read the shared coordinates. Now you'll notice this one didn't change because I didn't change this level type to the shared type, so you can go ahead and do that. Alright, so you'll notice that it's reading these values correctly. Now you would have to do the same thing for your spot coordinates or your spot um, elevations to specify that they're supposed to be shared as well otherwise they're going to read you know your project coordinates and those are done from your annotate tab and either spot elevation or spot coordinate and then you know it's based on where you pick